in the CBD. Beautiful beauty shots there, courtesy of these great folks here at KTA. Now, we laughed at him. We did when he declared he was going to run for president. Who's laughing now? A couple of tweets in Shira Israel saying, really enjoying the talk with Dida. There's another one, Ekai Nabeño. Mohamed Dida talking a lot of sense. I like this man. And then there's Stephen Basella. He's saying, ask Dida, what could you have done about insecurity in Samburu and Moyale? Insecurity in Samburu, in Moyale, and the whole of Kenya is uh, Kenyans, the life they are living, those who work, those who are in service, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, the salaries must be improved. How they live must be improved. And those unemployed, employment should be created. Those causing insecurity in Nairobi and in Samburu, I just ask, we are idle. An idle man is the default workshop. Mm -hmm. It is just the youth. There's a six billion shilling UES of fund. It's supposed to be for women, for youth. Six billion. I, I actually visited five counties and I was trying to talk to the youth, asking them about the same thing. And they all say it, it will go to few people. You must be known. Who are you? Do you know anybody? Mm. You know, the, the, the poor youth, you, 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 you can ask for their security, who will be responsible, form a group, go and register a society. There are so many who cannot do, go through those hurdles. So the beneficiaries will, all, will be the same. And the six billion is too little mm. for the so many youths and women. But corruption, let's face it, Malimo, corruption in this country, mm. it's almost endemic. It's almost in our DNA. God created us and we are different from animals. We are also different from angels. Angels have the IQ but they don't have feelings. If it is cold, they don't feel. If it is hot, they don't feel. They don't feel pangs of anger. These are angels. They're static. And animals have the feelings, but they don't have the IQ. We were given both what the angels are lacking and what the animals are lacking. We were given the feelings. We were given the desires. We were also given the IQ. If we reason well, there are so many things that I need in life, but I have to control my desires. I have to talk to myself. So many people, all these buildings, if you go and ask, who are the owners? They have all died. And funny enough, when they are put nowadays, when you are put in the coffin, youth will follow you in the grave and throw you out mm. because it, 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 it is worthy. It they'll, is not meant for you. They'll, they'll steal your coffin. They will steal your coffin. And your clothes. Yes. Jenga Mishoko is asking, ask Dida if Kenya has anything to celebrate as it turns 50. Well, we have so many things to celebrate that Kenya is a unique place in terms of in terms of climate and so there are so many things that God has given us natural but we are just mishandling it mm. so that we are still this we what we will celebrate is despite all the frustrations imagine of innocent women poor women who will trek from Runda there is a slump in Runda I was there yesterday yeah. they go to industrial area for three four thousand shillings and they are charged VAT, tax, what, 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 what. We will celebrate that God is still keeping us and he will one day answer our prayers. We have a chance. Do you still believe we should eat only one meal a day? Any medical doctor will tell you the worst enemy today that will finish us is food. Biryani, halwa biryani is sweet. But go to the gym, you will see People are just running. You know, to put on a kilo is easy. But to, to, it is very difficult. So people will realize. It is time they realize. We need to be very disciplined in our meals. Imagine today, I woke up at 5. I took pilau kidogo. Before the pilau, I took two glasses of water. Up to now, I have not eaten anything else. How are you feeling? Okay, very late. I can go back and talk to my story, wife very well. <laughs> yeah, and 11 children later. I'm not going to argue that point. <laughs> okay. Mkrugenzi Sabato is asking, does Mwalimu think, what does Mwalimu think about the idea of Nyumbakumi? Community That house? idea is noble. You know, in Islam, we are told 160. 40 in front, 
40 at the back, 40 right, 40 left. When I was in the DAP, when I was in Nairobi school, in Elana, everywhere, after my job, I usually as, as, assign two hours of visiting. It is good you know your neighbors. There are many things you will share. There are potential people who don't talk. There are many things that you are lacking that your neighbors have. But it should be positive, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can visit a house and you see there's a lonely lady there. And you misbehave. <laughs> True. <laughs> Positively. Yeah, it's a very noble idea. It will help us socially, economically. It will help us politically. It will help us in terms of security. It's a very noble. I've adapted it. Yesterday, I was doing it in Runda. I go and I tell people, this is, this is a, a, a government policy. Yeah, let's come out and we talk. Mm. Yeah. Joseph Kanyuri saying, if you were president, how, could you, how would you handle impunity and corruption for that matter? It keeps coming up, corruption. How would you handle it? When, what we need is education. Kenyans have the potentials to be very good people. They are very good. But if you force me to the corner, if you force me there, I can go and commit on. Mm. Yeah. So it is education. We need to talk to. I visited uh, the city, city council here. They climbed my, my car and uh, the parking was well done. When I went there, the gentleman who is in charge says, there are 800 of them. They don't talk. They don't socialize well. They are all frustrated. Why don't you, Mwalimu, give one day and we will bring all of them. You talk to them. You know when you want to park your vehicle, uh, you put it well. They don't show up. They don't show up. They hide. And then because you are rushing somewhere, you will be forced to to, to rush. Mm. When you come, it is clamped. And then they are, are given two options. Go and pay 2140 or give me 500 and go. Which is the easy way. If you are not spiritual, then you will have to save yourself and go. This is how they work. Did they unclamp you? Yeah. I went to the office and they were wrong. It was in the correct place. And this was somebody's garage. In fact, when you come there, you hand over the keys and you go. Mm. But they say, he, he did it wrongly. That space is for the city council. You have to explain to the clients, why do you get my, my key khaki? Yeah. And you want to, to, to maintain it. So I told them you should go and advise the owner of the garage very well. So the, there is a big mess. Mm. And this one thing that is required, all of us have a responsibility to go to more than 10 houses every day. And we talk about, we are noble. We will leave this world tomorrow. Go. I like visiting the city mochari. So many strong people. When the Westgate thing happened, I went to the, the, the three hospitals. We were putting dead bodies in paper bags. The fridge was not enough. This is a person 25 minutes before he was just rushing to the counter to buy something. And in the next minute, God has programmed that you will not be in this world. You'll be in the next. Where have you gone? You know, we need to, to think big. If you steal money, what you can eat is not even have a bread. Where are, you, where are you taking it? Some of them steal and they don't even have children. That's the funny part of yeah. it. So it education. Is key. Very important. Ibrahim Mukta. What is Mohammed Dida's position regarding atrocities committed by KDF against northerners? You know, you can c commit a problem and you are a KDF or you are a, yo a young man or you are a woman. Any problem committed People fear the KDF. People fear. They even go to district commissioners and bribe that we don't want them. Because the moment these guys will come, marriage has become expensive. They go for the women. They do funny things. It is, it is actually the KDF in a village is more disastrous. We, we better have the bandits than the KDF. <laughs> this is robbery with violence, terrible. We fear them. You know, we are supposed to, I went to, I was driving, you know, I moved animals from Northeastern and I take them to uh, Taita Taveta mm -hmm. to fatten and then reset. Mm -hmm. Then it was, we got a puncture on the way and then we struggled. We went seven o'clock to Malindi. Now the police is asking you, you are not supposed to move livestock after six. But when it was six, I was in the bush. Do I rush to the police for security or spend in the bush? <laughs> you know, rationale. That reasoning ability. Yeah. People 
in Kenya, we are just out to get money. Greed. It is an idol. You have heard of idol worshipping? Yes. We worship tribe and money. Tony Ocheng is asking, how would you handle rogue pastors? And they're there. Yeah, but that is poverty. We need to educate them. We need to tell them what Jesus said. They will come. And uh, they are not even rogue pastors alone. We have rogue imams mm -hmm. who will always want to say, there's a problem this time. We need to hand to fix this. We need to fix this, bring money. That is poverty. Education is very important. You know, when you know what you are as a human being, how you are different from uh, 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 the, the, the animals, how God is, is merciful, how God can change your life if you apply, actually apply, comply with the commandments of God then we, we will have that ability to persevere. But when it comes to this morning, I will wake up and my business is I, get, I must get money. Whether I, I kill or I don't care, but I need to come with money. How do you, how do you handle I did a research in Nairobi Central Police Station. In a two-bedroomed house, there are three policemen. The newly recruit salary is 11000 They are here stationed in Nairobi. They need to take their children to school. The matatu will cost them. The food is expensive. Oh, no, no. Somebody here is quarreling with his wife. You want to, to sleep? The, the, the difference is just a curtain. Now you tell this person, oh, control these vehicles. In the rain? In the rain. He will not control them. He will collect money. And he's justified. Absolutely. And then you will say, that is very wrong. How do you go with it? And he, you are complaining that 750,000 is not enough. Would President Dida change that? God will change it. Maybe through me. You know, the agent of, of, of change. God loves sincerity. God loves the truth. When he, God supports you, if the whole continent, if everybody will come, they cannot defeat you. So the thing is, I need to please my God. And I tell him, oh God, change is required in this. So country. you're running in 2017? Yeah, if, if it calls for. Kibisu is asking, is the AU doing Kenya any good in its push for immunity for the president and the vice president? I answered that. I answered that. You did answer that. No, 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 no. They're just wasting time. That is, you know, you may convince, Jeff, listen to this. You may talk to the world and you tell them, I'm clean and you're rotten. It is God who knows. You may keep quiet and people will tell you you are rotten and you are clean inside. It is God. So the, the thing is, rotates around God. It zeroes to God. So what do, I, what do I tell? What do I tell the African leader? I, I did this mistake or I'm blamed for this. Please help me. Why should I? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong and I should go. If I'm right, I'm right and my, my truth will support me. Yeah, but this, you know, when you waste your time moving around and then it, it fires back to you, this will not help. Yeah. Someone's asking, um, how would you handle the plight of the IDPs? IDPs should be sincere people. They are, the Ministry of Special Programs during Kibaki's regime assisted so many people. They were 20. You will take the 20 and resettle them. They are 20 again. Mm. They are 20. Sasa kama wewe uta utasema mimi pia ni IDP utaenda huko. They're not all sincere, that's what you're saying. Sincerity is lacking in them. Mm -hmm. As much as, okay, 40, 40 million Kenyans, 20 can just say, I will, we will take one and give the person a shamba. But everybody who is broke is get, just using that system that I also need to learn. Yeah? So sincerity in the in, 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 in IDP issue. And uh, if I was in charge, I would have pleaded with those who have learned. Please, God will help you help them. God will be will be pleased with you. Give just a quarter piece of land or one eighth. Yeah, we'll just persuade. You know, it's not an issue of I'll take you to court, I'll do this. Mm. Yeah. Kenyans are very generous. Sincerity and generosity. Even the large landowners. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they went with it because Kenyans that time never they Kenyans didn't know about the value of this is when we we have known that land is important. So that time anybody will just take two hundred acres, five thousand acres. Yeah. But they have to bring it back. We will just persuade them. <clears throat> Last few minutes remaining, uh, Malimo. Advice for the youth. Because look, they make up the majority of this country. A lot of them out there, unemployed, hopeless, 
helpless, angry? What do you tell them? Well, one is you need to struggle to comply by principles. Uh, like, be the best. Be your best today. Yeah? It is said the best person is the most useful. In a matter to think of how you can be useful. With your youth members, be think of how you can be useful. You know, when you look at the TV and you see something and then you want to be that, you are not yourself. And I just want to tell the youth and anybody listening to me that this world belongs to a God who doesn't sleep, who doesn't slumber, who is powerful, who knows the past, the present, the future. I don't need to clean my record. Just have a relationship with God. But there's some youth looking at you now saying, I want to be Dida when I grow up. Is that wrong? We need, they need role models, heroes and heroines. Well, I struggle. I struggle to please God. I, if, if, if we just look at the Ten Commandments, they were uh, revealed during the time of Moses. Take care of your parents. Don't commit adultery. You see? Yeah. You, you, should, you should not covet with your neighbor's wife, wife the property. Mm -hmm. Don't give false, you know, Gods. false uh, witness. You know what? How law lawyers behave in this country? Somebody killed a person mm. and came from Northeastern. He came to a lawyer. I knew what he did and I know the person. Mm. He came to a lawyer. The lawyer listened to the story and told him, he case with Toboa. But I can do one thing. I can delay for 15 years. I will just take it. Mm. Real quick, someone's asking through my ear, how do you handle three wives? Most Kenyan men can't even handle one. Solomon handled 1,700 and 300 concubines. And that was by, by the powers of God. No might, no power, it is God. So do you, do you have Solomonic powers? Yeah, yeah, we are struggling. We are struggling to possess them. <laughs> and all 11 children? Yeah. An entire football team? An entire football team. And you're the coach? I wish, I wish I could measure fertility. I will have gone for the most fertile. <laughs> I'll take advice from you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, if you were president, if you were president, because we know President Kibaki had like a 26 car motorcade, you know, with outriders and everything. President Kenyatta, not that many, but he still has a motorcade. How many would you have and bodyguards? What is relevant? You tell me. If walking, you know, during the presidential elections, I was walking. Yeah. Until it, they had to write in the newspaper that it is dangerous. You can call the car, cause the country a big mess. You know. But if that you're president, a, you can't walk. Yeah, but I, I want to ask, what is the difference between me now and myself when you appoint me? What what changes? Your commander. Your commander in chief. But I need. This is when I want to see and get to, to know people most. This is when I need to go to every house. This is when I need to go to the ten houses. Yeah, but that's when the haters will come out. Oh, come on. It's inevitable. You can't be liked by everybody. We will discuss when it goes there. <laughs> we will discuss. You're going to have a running mate? Oh, yeah, he's there. Who is he or she? Joshua Odongo. Oh, no, no. He's, he's, st he's still your guy. He's, he's, still, he's, he's still your guy. He's still my guy. He's still my guy. He's a teacher. I like him. And he's a role model. I think we need to expose him. When you were growing up in that tiny little village outside Wajir, what's it called again? Lehele. Lehele. Did you ever think in this country, someone like you would run for president? I was forced by circumstance to start thinking on the development of humanity when I was in that small village. It is a long history. I'm writing a book soon. I think it will be around when we'll be launching it. What's the title? Dida. Dida. Yes. Just call it Mwalimu. Oh, Mwalimu Dida. Mwalimu Dida. Thanks for coming over, my friend. Not at all. All the best. Good luck going forward. Let's pray for Kenya. Let's pray for Kenya. Keep talking to those people. Keep going door to door. Mwalimu Abduba Dida, folks. This man says, Ruto do not perform. He's putting his name on that ballot box. And this time around, he wouldn't have two months of campaign. He's got four years of change. Stay tuned. I tell you, leadership, he's 39, lots of time ahead of him, and he's speaking without fear or favor. That's the kind of talk we want, and he follow through. That's the big question. 
Next week in Jeff Kunanga Live, new guests. Don't forget the time, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 7.45 p.m.